Well, I have to say, this is a charming little courtroom. Reminds me of my early days practicing law. It is quaint. I hope we picked out the right outfit here. It's coming off a little more Mennonite than I had hoped. The girl looks fine, Emily. Leave her alone. Are you nervous? No. And you shouldn't be. Everything will be fine. It'll be over before you know it. Court calls the state versus Lorelei Gilmore. Who is Lorelei Gilmore? I am. That's my real name. <laughs> Good thing I found out about it now. It could have been a little embarrassing later. Rory, Rory, I'm the sweater a little. Emily, stop it. I don't want her to look like she's trying too hard. I understand that a plea agreement has been reached. That's correct, Your Honor. Miss Gilmore, please stand. You understand that you're pleading guilty to criminal mischief in the third degree in violation of Section 117A of the Penal Code? Yes, Your Honor. You further understand that by so doing, you waive your right to a trial by a jury of your peers? I do. I see that community service is recommended. Ms. Gilmore has no prior record, Your Honor. No history of getting into trouble. 20 hours of community service. This was a youthful indiscretion, Your Honor. A one-time childish lark. My client is duly remorseful, and I can assure you it will never happen again. Uh-huh. I see you're a student at Yale. Yes, Your Honor. And that's a very nice school. Prestigious. Yes, Your Honor. I understand that the defense is portraying this as a childish lark, a youthful indiscretion. Well, I take the law very seriously. And if there's one thing I have very little tolerance for, it's rich, privileged children viewing the world as their private playground. I don't care who you are. I don't care who your family is. When you commit a crime, Miss Gilmore, there must be consequences, period. 20 hours of community service won't do it. I'm ordering 300 hours of community service to be completed in no more than six months and one year's probation. But I can't do 300 hours. I, I have to get a job. Well, add that to your list of things you should have thought about before you decided to joyride on someone else's boat. 300 hours? This is outrageous, Charlie. Now, assuming this is indeed a one-time occurrence, at the end of five years' time, Miss Gilmore can petition the court to have this expunged from her record. Record? She's going to have a record? Oh, my God! You never said anything about a record? Richard, please. Oh, don't Richard please me, you two-bit double-talker. Who are you? Sit down. I am her grandfather, Richard Gilmore, and this is outrageous! I never should have let it go with a ponytail. You are going to have to restrain yourself, sir. I will not restrain myself. I will not stand by and let this girl walk around with a record for five years. Richard's just standing on my foot. I should never have listened to you, making deals with a 20-year-old child in a cheap suit. Hey! I'm not duty-bound to do so, but I'm happy to give Miss Gilmore the opportunity to withdraw her plea and go to trial. If she does so, she'll face additional felony charges. Given the undisputed facts, I'd think very hard about that course of action. Well, I think it's something to consider. Grandpa, no, I don't want to go to trial. I'll do the community service. Please, just sit down. Richard, sit down. I do not want to withdraw my plea, Your Honor. All right. I will consider this matter settled. Court will recess for 20 minutes. All rise. This is not that big a deal. And well, we got a little more community service than we wanted. You're a lousy duck hunter, Charlie. It wasn't the weather, and it wasn't the duck call. It was you. I was doing you a favor, Richard. Well, do me some more favors, Charlie. Let's see if we can get the girl 20 to life at Sing Sing. That is it. Grandpa. I I'm hiring a lawyer to sue that man. Grandpa, did you tell Mom about the court date? Of course I did. You did? You told her the time and where it was and everything? She knew all about it, Rory. She simply showed no interest in the matter. Abe Rosenstein. Who? That's who I'm going to get to sue Charlie. Goodbye, Emily. Go to hell, Richard. I'm not through with you yet. Richard, you can't kill him here. We're in a courthouse. 